Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today I have a really interesting new piece from Richard Legrand. Uh, you might have noticed their logo completely changed. It used to say Richard Legrand. Now you just have that nice RLG logo, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, let's get right into it. It's a nice style dive watch, kind of a Blanc Pond style. I believe this one's selling at $4.29. There was a pre-order for a bunch of different dial variations. They even had a blue, a pastel dial, which was really, really cool. Me, myself, I prefer straight black. You kind of have this nice sunburst black dial here, uh, which is really nice. Anyway, let's see what's on my wrist today, get into the packaging, and we'll jump right into it. On my wrist today is the recently acquired Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. The white dial. I uh, went for the white dial. Kind of turning into a white guile die. <laughs> a white g dial guy. Kind of hard to say those three words. White dial guy. White dial guy. <laughs> okay, but yeah, this is a new acquisition of mine. I actually purchased it about two months ago. Uh, I've been wearing it a lot. Really, really dig this watch. Uh, definitely a review coming up probably this week on this watch. So stay tuned, guys. Now, as you can see in the packaging, the Richard Legrand comes in a box. You get a bunch of goodies inside. You get everything you need to change the links on the bracelet. You also do get your warranty card, of course, which is signed and dated. You do get a nice tropical style rubber strap with extra spring bars. You also get a spring bar tool. And you also do get a spring bar tool, um, cause this watch does have drilled lug holes. So you will be able to swap out straps pretty quickly on this watch. And yeah, just overall pretty decent packaging as well as the nice canvas roll. Uh, which is used to store the watch. You can travel with the watch, put it in there when you're not using it. Now, trying to keep the glare of my face off the dial of this watch. Um, let's get into some basic specifications here. So basically, we're looking at the black dial variant of the Richard Legrand, of which you can see is actually printed right there on the dial with their new logo. I want to show you that. A lot of people didn't like their old logo, but their new logo is really, really cool. You can see it's polished and applied there. This is the all-new Odyssey, uh, powered by a nice automatic movement. Uh, from Japan. Um, Richard the Grand is a very reputable company. They've kind of been improving their models slowly over the years, and I believe this is their most refined version. Uh, what I mean by that, uh, you know, the better case cut, better materials, everything feels more kind of put together. Um, so overall, a better watch, in my honest opinion. I believe this one's around 425 on their website. I will drop a link in the description below, so you can check them out after this video. We're looking at a solid 316L stainless steel brushed case. Little polishing on top of the lugs uh, right there, as you can see. But pretty much uh, brushed for the most part. It's 200 meters water resistant. It also has a lug to lug width of 46 millimeters, uh, which is very doable, very nice size. 11.5 millimeters thick, that's including the uh, sapphire crystal. In terms of actual diameter, we're looking at about 39 millimeters I got with my calipers. Um, which is a very good size, 39 millimeters, 46 lug to lug. I think it's a very nice size. And look at the crown, they even put their new logo. I think that's pretty cool. RLG. Now obviously this is a dive watch, so we do get 200 meters of true tested water resistance, screw down crown, and a screw down case back as well. As you can see there on the case back, you get that nice 3D stamping. Case back is circular brushed, really nice stamping though, that anchor with the old diver's helmet. Pretty typical of the uh, Richard Legrand series watches. Everything is brushed. Uh, basic uh, specifications, you can see, 9039, dead giveaway which movement's inside of this watch, um, but you probably know already. But yeah, very uh, interesting, uh, but simple design, I should say. You get drilled lug holes on this nice brushed case, and I must say the finishing on this one is definitely a step above their last model. It's just very, very smooth, very nice. Heading to the other side where it's brushed as well, very smooth, no sharp edges or anything like that. So you can see you get a coin-edged 120-click bezel. And there are those little chamfered edges here on top of the 20 millimeter lugs. Drilled lug holes, easy to take off the bracelet and put it on the tropical rubber band it does come supplied with. Um, well, heading to the dial, we have a kind of deep black glossy kind of sunray dial here as you can see. Um, very legible, very easy to read, nice long sword hands with a spear arrow kind of long sweeping seconds hand. We get all applied loomed indices and numerals, 12369 orientation. Very legible and very easy to read. Perfect for a dive watch, in my opinion. Uh, the loom actually is pretty good. And if you're wondering, this bezel is actually a sapphire bezel. So we get a sapphire bezel insert, which is fully loomed as well, closed green, as well as the hands, all of the uh, applied indices as well. The loom is really good. I'll get your loom shot towards the end of the video. Now this bracelet, um, it hasn't been seen on any other Richard Legrand models before. The bracelet itself has these kind of uh, polished end parts, as you can see. You're kind of something like the Tudor style bracelets. It's an oyster style bracelet, obviously. 20 millimeters tapers down to 18, I believe. 
Uh, it's very nice, flexible, feels of good quality, polished on the side, is using the pin system, you get three micro adjustments. There's actually a pin in between here, so you pop it out and there's a little pin inside here, and that's where uh, that, that tool comes in that I showed you in the beginning. Anyway, you get a clasp here, stamped with the Richard Legrand, you get a nice milled clasp here, snaps in, you get three micro adjustments, easy to adjust, very simple, keeps things pretty thin I should say, which I do appreciate. None of those huge ratcheting clasps, which are really uncomfortable. I don't know why anyone uses those. I hate those. Anyway, back to the bezel. So we get a 120 click dive bezel. Very tooly. Sturdy, but zero, zero back play. Everything does line up. Um, yep, yeah, everything does line up perfectly to that 12 o'clock position, which is always nice to see. Uh, crown movement, let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the crown here. As you can see, there's no crown guards here. Kind of going for that vintage style. As you can see, you can self-wind the movement in the first position. This is a no-date Japanese Miyota 9039. Um, so this is the actual true no-date version of the 9015. Has 24 joules, beats at 4 hertz, 28,800 beats per hour. Has a hand winding and hacking. So you pull out one position, as you can see, the second hand will halt. And we can precisely set the time here. 10, 10, push that back down. Really nice crown pop, and the grip on the crown is very good. No issues there whatsoever. And yeah, um, not much to it. It's a very simple dive watch, kind of a 50 fathom style. Get you a little closer look at the case back, as you can see here, very detailed, that 3D stamping. Solid end links on the bracelet, if I didn't mention also. Um, but yeah. Um, this one I think really shines on the tropical rubber strap in my honest opinion, but it looks pretty good on the bracelet It can go either way. I would say if you're dressing it up I would go on the bracelet if you're gonna go out diving or swimming I definitely throw it on the nice tropical rubber strap, which I'll show you right now So here is the tropical rubber strap. It does come supplied with you have two keepers here It's pretty flexible straight out of the box I wouldn't worry about breaking it in so you can see it states tropical on the back and then the actual top portion has a nice custom Richard Legrand buckle Sign there with the logo, really nice. Nice hardware, solid 316L stainless steel. Very good quality, genuine rubber. I believe so, yes it is. And yeah, just an overall nice accessory at this price point. Heading straight into a loom shot, as you can see. The loom on his watches are always very good. I wasn't, you know, stunned, you know, like their loom wasn't good. The loom is always good, as you can see, this thing is glowing like a torch. Um, I would say the loom is definitely a bit stronger on the hands, the 12369 and the applied markers than it is on the actual bezel. That's pretty typical. It's harder to apply loom on these very small surfaces on the 4 and 5, for example. Uh, but nonetheless, very good loom. This will last the night. It's a very good loom. On my 6.5 inch wrist, 46 lug to lug, it fits perfectly across, just as expected. Um, has a very nice look to it. It does have a decent weight to it, not extremely heavy, just in the middle, I'd say. Um, but you definitely can feel it on the wrist, which is always nice. And the bracelet doesn't pull hair or anything like that. Um, overall, the light shining on it, the air coating is definitely doing its job on that domed sapphire crystal. Overall, guys, I think for the price, I think it's a nice package. You're getting the extra rubber band. You're getting great components. You're getting a sapphire loomed bezel, a very nice glossy black dial, um, which does really look pretty nice, even under studio lighting. Um, 200 meters water resistance, a decent bracelet and clasp. Um, it's a reputable brand. They've been around for a few years now, so they're not going anywhere. I believe they're probably going to introduce more models. But one thing that really um, impressed me the most is the actual case cut and finish on this exact model. It's really, really good. I was really quite impressed by it, um, especially at this price from a smaller brand. They did a really good job on the finishing. The brushing is like silky smooth. It's very, very nicely finished. And yeah, I like the way they changed their logo. I think it's a good step uh, forward for them. A lot of people, I think, will like this new logo a little bit better. Once again, like I stated, there are a few different color variations. I know a lot of people are going to like the blue pastel, uh, which has become quite of a fad, I'd say, in the past couple of years. But definitely know, let me know what you guys think. On my end, there were no quality control issues or anything like that. Everything lines up on the bezel. The watch is keeping about six seconds fast a day, which is no issue on a 9039. And yeah, you get a decent bracelet and you get the rubber strap, which is very nice. You get a very nice stamped case back. Altogether, it's a very good package. They're a pretty reputable company, so I do trust in them, uh, which is why I would recommend them. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, as usual, of the new Richard the Grand Odyssey. And uh, yeah, you can definitely catch me on the next one. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And a lot of interesting content coming up soon, guys. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you real soon. 
बाय